you can see that uh, I'm using an ESP32 and I'm using the 3 MPU6050 okay so these MPU6050 have uh, accelerometer uh, oh, accelerometer and gyroscope uh, both inside okay so right now we are having three MPUs uh, directly connected okay so let's start let me make a restart okay so whenever you restart the device uh, you will get something like this ESP32 access point okay so this is like the access point so we have hosted the server inside the ESP okay once you are connected with this one, uh, you could directly go to this, the IP address of this one. Okay. So it's asking me for the username and password. So that is admin, admin. So here you see that uh, we have MPU information here. So we have MPU1, MPU2 and MPU3. Okay. So these MPU1, MPU2, 3 are, we are getting the live actually the live uh, readings from the sensor okay so this is the like the first part so if you see here we are continuously getting these values uh, uploading to the local server okay now what we could do even if i try to make it up so it changes the values up down up down so if i make some rotation of it it make the changes accordingly okay <laughs> the next thing is uh, like the MPUs have the G force parameter. <coughs> if you see here, we have different ranges for here, like uh, for 2G, 4G, 8G, and 16G. Okay, similarly like this way. So if I sorry, make a reset. Maybe I am disconnected with it. So I'll connect it again. okay so what you will go to this modify g force once uh, you are in the modification part here you see that we we could provide the parameters here so it means that we have if we enter one you will set the range to 2G okay if you enter the range 2 okay you will have like 4G like we will set it to 4G if you enter MPU60 like if you put 3 we will set it to 8 and if you put 4 we will have like setting to 16 so 1 2 3 and 4 so if we see here we have like 4 G uh, accelerometer ranges 2G, 4G, 8G and 16G. So if you enter 1 it will be 2G, if you enter 2 you will have 4G, if you enter 3 you will have 8G and if you have 4 you will have 16G. So right now if I make a restart we could see like what are the current ranges. Okay so as you see we have set it to 4, 4G, the accelerometer 1, 2, 3 are set to 4G. So let me modify this one so this time what I will do I will make it uh, let's say 4 also this one to 4 and this one also to 4 okay and we'll make sure that the system is connected okay so to verify let me refresh <coughs> okay so it's set to 4 okay so let me see either we are getting those values or not so i will see back here Okay, so let me make a refresh and see like what are the accelerometer ranges. Okay, see we have 4 4 here and this is set to 16 G. Okay, let's start uh, coding the ESP32. So this will be the schematics that will be followed throughout the. Uh, this will be the schematics that we will be using in our project. Okay, so if you see here, we have uh, three MPUs: MPU1, MPU2, MPU3. Okay, so one of the MPU is 
the MP1 is connected on uh, wire uh, on IO26 and 27. Okay, the other one is connected on IO32 and IO33. Okay, and the third one is connected on IO21 and 22. So coming to the <coughs> code, we are using VL Studio code uh, for coding this one, but you could also compile this code with Arduino IDE. Okay, so we'll start with the main code. Uh, so the first thing is that we are using Arduino.h library. Then we will define the three MPUs. So the MPU one is on pin number 26 and 27. Okay, the MPU two is on 32 and 33. The MPU3 is on 22 and 21. Okay, so we are using the multiple uh, I2C interfaces. So we will call it I2C1, I2C2, and I2C3. Okay, then we we'll directly go to the setup. We have started the serial monitor with the baud rate of 115200, and then we will set up the server. Okay, the server um, basically that we will be using for showing the live values coming from the ESP32. So if I go here, <coughs> we are we will first make the ESP32 in the soft access point mode. Okay, so we will set it the SSID and the password for this one. So if I go to the SSID and password, this is like the ESP32 access point. This will be the password for the uh, for the for connecting with the access point. Okay, we'll come back here. And next we will turn on the server and we have created a, a complete page for this one and that you can see in this way index.h so this is like the HTML page that we have created for the live view of the values coming from the MPUs okay. so you could go check these one here next uh, we will we have started the three um, three of the I2C interfaces <coughs> and then we have begin on 0 cross 68 this is basically the address at which the i2c the mpu 6050 so this is the address for mpu 6050 okay then we will set up mpu1 set up mpu2 set up mpu3 and then we have a function called get mpu1 so here we are actually getting the values from the uh, mpu sensor okay so it's getting the acceleration, gravity, and temperature values from the MPU1. Okay. Then we are getting X1 for acceleration of MPU1. Then we have Y1 means uh, the acceleration of the Y axis. Then acceleration in the Z axis. We are displaying those values. Similarly, we are getting the rotation values, the gyro values X, Y, and Z, and also the temperature values here. Okay. So this this function will remain same for all other two. MPU 6050 <coughs> and after reading these three uh, sensor we are posting this information to the local web server okay so we are getting this x1 x2 x3 x4 similarly these values and we are just posting this one on on the server okay so these are the values that are uploading on the server <coughs> At the same time, we are also setting the uh, like the gravity values for the sensor. So if you go here, uh, this is basically the MPU range we are setting. So do you could also set the MPU range from the uh, from the interface. So this was it. Uh, I hope you like the work. Uh, if you have any questions, please. Let me know. Thank you.